Hello and welcome to a new video. As you can see here, I finally finished my 15th sketchbook, which means I get to move on to another one, number 16, which I am always really excited to do. I love starting new sketchbooks. This one is a no hoo hoo sketchbook. This isn't a collaboration or anything. My mum actually bought it for me for the Christmas just gone because I'd been saying for a while how I'd always wanted to try one of their books and she was so nice she got this for me so I've been excited to try this for a while and it's quite a thick book. Um, it comes with this page protector which is really nice because obviously it's made for alcohol markers. The part that I enjoy the most is decorating the cover with my stickers and so that's what I've done here. And then I also wanted to chuck a few on the back. You might notice that a few of them were Fallout stickers because I've been really into Fallout recently. But yeah, starting off strong, I spell sketchbook wrong for some reason. I, I don't know, the B became an H. I don't know if that went through my mind or what, but there is no H, so it's it's my sketchbook. <laughs> yeah, the cover of the Ohuhu book is like this really really weird texture it's like wrinkled plastic kind of thing so I was concerned about if anything was going to work on it if the pens were going to pen so it's got a really weird texture I wasn't sure if anything was going to stick to it and it's been a while since filming the intro you just saw the stickers are kind of working they're coming up a little every now and then, so I might have to glue them down at some point. Um, hopefully not, but I guess we'll see. Um, I'll quickly put up the name of the artists now. Yep, so <laughs> now we'll get back into making or the rest of the video. So I had a couple plans for this. As you can see here, I thumb, I thumbed. As you can see here, I scribbled down a little something on a scrap piece of paper. Initially, I was thinking of redrawing an old sketchbook title page idea I had of Kara dancing with a skeleton. And then for, I was like, I don't really want to just draw Kara again. Sometimes there can be other made up characters too. So for this one, I've made up some new characters. Um, and one of them is like a, it turns into being like a celestial being kind of deal. I just kind of wanted to make something up. I made a like Instagram, Instagram. What is wrong with me? I went on Pinterest and gathered a bunch of images that had the kind of vibe I was going for, which kind of led into this idea of the celestial being and this girl <laughs> that hasn't really got much going on really. I got very carried away with this, what was supposed to be the thumbnail of it, <laughs> but I got too detailed. So um, I did try and do a couple more as you can see here. This one is just a random masked lady that I wanted to add a load of trinkets to. Second one is Kara because she is my girl and I, I did was like, it would be fun to have Kara. And then the third one was just a silly one that I was never gonna do, but I was in a fallout mood. So it's just Vault Boy with number 16 for the sketchbook. Yeah, I did off screen off camera go into a bit more detail with the thumbnail because I was just getting carried away with it and it turned into a full-blown sketch. I decided to then go ahead with it but zoomed in more on the characters because for a title page I just thought this would be better. So I am using a Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil in pink. It is probably my favourite pencil ever um, for things like this because the pink can just completely disappear but it does create a nice tone with the colours that interact with it. Yeah, so here, I, here is just me sketching it out, basically. I have the thumbnail. I took a photo of it and I put it up on my screen. And for colours, I decided to actually be smart about it because at this point, I was really, really liking the design I had. So I was like, you know, I should plan it out for once because I'm going to mess it up otherwise and I'm going to hate myself if I do that. So I took a photo and I went in on Paint Tool Sci and I just coloured everything in. I did have to redraw the line art because the initial way I was doing it just was not working. But um, yeah, I spent a while figuring out the colours. I wanted it to have a sort of space vibe. So the background is meant to kind of look like, um, like the whole galaxy effect. 
um, but it's just nice blended colors as well because the I want like I said earlier I kind of wanted this guy to be a sort of celestial being so I don't know where these vibes came from and it's not something I typically do but um, that's what I went with and she's kind of meant to look more like a uh, not a priest so much but it, she's meant to look holy like she's wearing sort of like holy garbs like not to the extreme they're very simple as you can tell but I kind of wanted it to be that she she perhaps is devout to this celestial being <laughs> I, I wonder how many times I'm gonna say that celestial being she's kind of devout to him so maybe she is like a follower or a worshiper or something I haven't really thought it all out too much so I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that a bit more later right now you can see that I did a lot more work to the colours off camera because it was getting on my nerves. I could not figure out a colour scheme. So I did end up with one that I really liked. I then decided to be smart about it again and on a piece of paper, and don't worry, this piece of paper is from their marker pads um, that I featured earlier, so it's not bleeding onto the tablet. But um, I went in and actually found the colours colours similar to the ones that I used in this colour swatch thingy mabob so now I had everything laid out for me and it made everything so much easier like I was really dreading colouring this because um, I'm okay with alcohol markers but they are a little daunting sometimes because I think I go for like one of the the standard easy ways of using them and this piece has a lot of blended colours that I was really nervous about doing and it is quite a saturated piece especially for me because I, I still tend to go safe sometimes um, so I was really worried about doing this but having all of those colours laid out beforehand made it ridiculously easy and I had my reference on my screen so it was like it was almost like painting by numbers in a sense it was it was so handy and I'm like this is why people do this. This is why people plan things out and make it easier because then the process just goes so much quicker and I don't know why I've never done it in the past but I, I think I'm going to try and, and be smart and do this again in the future. So yeah, here I am. I've started colouring and blending was quite easy. It was easier than I expected it to be. It wasn't as messy. And this paper is it's really nice it doesn't have any like feathering it's good paper but it does still have bleed through so the other page the other side of this page does kind of disappear you can still see my thumbnails and sketches but it is um i think going forward forward with this sketchbook i will probably only be doing my alcohol markers on the right page of the sketchbooks because if there is something that i like on the other side and i decide to use alcohol markers it will get ruined so it's better to be able to make up my mind afterwards and so far I haven't done anything too dark that needs covering up because I think I will have to like tape things in and glue things in to be able to kind of use both sides of the page but so far I haven't done anything too dark and I have still been able to draw on both sides which is nice but um this one is quite dark as you can probably tell so the vibes that I ended up with this piece um, the kind of story that I haven't done too much, I haven't delved too much into, but the kind of general story that I've got in my head about this piece is that it's kind of like a metaphorical piece. He is, as I keep saying, a celestial being, um, which who knows what that actually means in this context. But she is kind of like his love and he is immortal and she is not. So it's kind of one of those typical stories of he's going to lose her and this piece has kind of just become like the metaphor of she has died even though she's very clearly alive because she is like holding on to him but it's like one of those um old pictures that you can see like you get some really nice pictures or paintings of things in the past where the person who is supposed to, supposedly dead is still very much interacting and that's kind of what this is here so he is holding on to her and she is holding back but she's dead and then i kind of as you saw with the thumbnail i kind of was just going crazy with it so there is this like magical sword thing which i'm not sure what it means i kind of would like it to mean that she is like a warrior she could be like 
the religion or whatever it is could be that they show their devoutness through fighting for their god so maybe that's how it came to be and then she has fallen in battle and so like that is her sword or maybe it's the sword he made for her and then the hands coming down i kind of wanted it to be it's either they're calling him back to return to the gods because he is like so distraught and he's connected himself to this mortal so it's either like the gods being like you know come back come back bro um you're done here now you need to stop messing around with the mortals or it could be like a nicer thing and that they're here to take her her body you know because she she now has to leave this plane um and i haven't decided yet if he'll be able to visit her if it's going to be one of those things where she they can see each other in the afterlife or if it's a matter of like she'll be like immediately reborn so she'll be someone else entirely and this version of her is gone forever but yeah the hands kind of i won't lie initially i drew them in because um one of my reference one of my inspiration images, I think it had like birds or sea creatures floating around someone's head. And I was really, really in the mood to have like something floating around someone's head and hands happened for some reason. And so that's what this is. Just finishing up on the background here. Um, I think it all turned out quite well. The blending was fairly easy once I got into the motion of it. It didn't seem to ruin the pens, which is something that I always worry about doing, which is why I typically avoid blending things. So now I'm on to line art and I decided to speed this up and make it um, a bit of a quicker section just because, you know, it's quite self-explanatory. Um, I've done quite a few videos explaining my colouring line art process. So I, I just start by going in with coloured fine liners. These are also the Ohuhu fine liners. Typically I like to use the red on the skin and then purple and blue randomly on hair and clothes. Yeah this process was really good. It helped define a lot of the shapes obviously because I'm, I'm lining them and I also added some more depth to areas um, which again also helped and it was a lot of fun as you can see here on the sword uh, because there are a lot of colours in the fine liner set, I could do the appropriate colours for the appropriate sections. So yeah, I then went in with the black just to make some bits a bit more bold than others, bits that need standing out and make the shadowed areas just a bit darker. It's an effect that I really like. It gives it the sort of not comic book style to that extent but the bits that I like from the typical comic book style and it's also helped me kind of get over my not fear necessarily but I used to be kind of biased against using black line art for me personally I think because I just couldn't get it to work. I then went in and added some sparkles because it needed it because it's supposed to be like this magical celestial space thing and I thickened the white outline around a lot of the well around the whole image. This right here is where I got really annoyed. You might have noticed when I was doing my colour swatching, I did not do the Roman numerals for 16. I did in my initial plan for me, but at some point they changed to 14. And it wasn't until after I'd wrote, written it on this page that I was like, that's wrong, that's not the right number. Um, so I did manage to change it and I'm happy about that. So now I am just drawing on this cute post-it note that I got from the artist, I think they're called Mims Gosara, I think I've butchered their name, but they did a one piece sale book launch, art book launch thing recently that came with a load of goodies and this memo pad is one of them and I just wanted an excuse to use it. And then I'm sticking in a load of other things, this cute drawing of the ghoul that Shay drew for me. This is just a sticker meme thingy of um, Solus from Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, then a chopper sticker that came with this, Merlin sticker, and then a sticker I got from Lani Le... Oh, I'm gonna say it wrong again, but it's like Lani Levendula. When they were doing a charity razor thing for Palestine, so that's what this is. That is the title page. I'll show you what the other side looks like. So you can still vaguely see the sketch and I can like come back to it for reference in the future. 
but the bleed through was a lot more extreme than I was expecting probably because I did so much blending it was going to bleed through and it did actually like bleed onto the um, protection sheet as well so I had to clean that as well but yeah so far this book has been really fun I have done not too much I've been quite um, I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself for some reason when it comes to art lately maybe because I've started a new book and it is different a different size compared to this one it's just very very slightly smaller and it's noticeable and um, for some reason it's just it's messing with my head so um, it's been a little difficult but I have slowly started getting into it recently but um, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's really, really good. The paper is strange for things like watercolour, probably because it is a marker pad. I do like this page, but I also, I don't love it as much as I thought I would. Like, I think I prefer the colour swatch, the colour planning thing that I did. Because again, I put way too much time into that, similar to the thumbnail. I have, I have this kind of like curse with title pages where no matter how much I like it while I'm making it I always end up disliking it to some degree when it's done and I think it must be that I like set my expectations too high because it is my first page it is my title page and like it has to be perfect it's extremely unreasonable you know nothing's ever going to be perfect everything's always going to be just slightly you know because no one's perfect there is a slight Mm, I, I don't know. I think it's the colours, ultimately. They're not what I'm used to, and I think so that does still make me a little bit uncomfortable, so that, that honestly, that must be it. But um, I am also, I do really like it. <laughs> Despite me saying I don't like it, I do also like it, so I'm, I'm like, super mixed on it. But, um, yeah, that is finally the beginning of this book. It has been so long since I started it, it's almost been a month now and I'm like I'm really sorry it's taken so long yes that is this new book that I am excited to start and it also means that soon there should be a new sketchbook tour because I finished this one so I will get around to doing that at some point it might not be for a while still because like I said I have projects that I am currently working on and videos that I have to make that are a higher priority thank you guys for bearing with me and hopefully it'll be out soon thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it this far hello um and i appreciate your support so much i also want to say a huge thank you to my patreons Dispy, megan palmer grim clow non-toxic saint nix lp kira may k annabelle joanna sir studdalot mila VB, Pretty Rotten, Crescent Frog, Joanna Snake Moon, Humble Frogs, Local Fish Keeper, Mold Ghoul, Art Mancy, Farrar Ware, Sun Arts, Vlake, Molly Marula, Hannah Anderson, Sammy Bear 127, Ken Zania, and Jade S. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I really, really appreciate it. And hopefully, I will have another video out soon.